in uh, particle physics, we describe the world using elementary particles. And in particular, we have a theoretical framework called the standard model of particle physics. And uh, quite elegantly, with just uh, 17 unique elementary particles, uh, the standard model is able to explain a very wide range of known phenomena. However, uh, despite its success, uh, the standard model is also known to be incomplete. Uh, in order to complete our understanding, uh, physicists are trying to um, find ways to extend or modify the model. Uh, but to know how to do so, we have to first do experiments and to find out uh, when or where the, the standard model start to become wrong or inaccurate. One specific way to uh, the standard model could be wrong or inaccurate concerns a group of uh, particles called the leptons. And these leptons uh, come in three different flavors. Uh, they are known as the electron, the muon, and the tau lepton. And in the standard model, uh, these particles do not change flavor. Or in other words, the numbers always remain the same. However, what if, uh, contrary to the standard model, that these particles actually do change flavor, what we call a uh, lepton flavor violation. And that's exactly what I'm trying to find uh, with my thesis. A bit more specifically, uh, I'm searching for lepton flavor violating Z boson decays. And it is known that the Z boson can decay into leptons and antileptons of the same flavor. Uh, but what I'm interested in is whether the Z boson can also decay into leptons of different flavors. Some beyond the standard model theories predict that these uh, decays can happen up to once in a million decays. And if this is found, it would give us a much clearer direction to how uh, to extend or modify the standard model. And, uh, slightly disappointingly, I found no evidence for electron flavor violating that goes on the case. What you can see here is um, the colored histograms are the standard model background that we expected. And this red dotted line is uh, what we expect if the signal exists. Uh, data point agrees pretty much with the standard model background. And so there's no clear evidence that the signal, which is the lepton flavor violating decays to occur. However, in science, uh, not finding something is also still a very important result. And uh, with my thesis, I'm able to set a stringent upper limit, which has superseded limits uh, that were set by previous experiments more than two decades ago. With the still ongoing data taking and future upgrades of the uh, experiments, I'm sure that uh, these results are just the first of the many more exciting results that are still ahead of us.